Hey Rap Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Nightingale video today where I'm taking a look at the end game content as it stands right now, as you might expect to see in early access. Remember, this is still a preview and things may change, but I've been given permission to show you guys what the vaults are. So obviously massive spoilers about what kind of challenges you will face once you've gone through a fair amount of realms. I'm not going to spoil exactly how or where you access these vaults. But as I've recalled in this, with the help of a power player in Qatari who did this actual vault with me, I was like maybe 39 hours in, she was close to like 50. And we did rush a hell of a lot to get through this stage and also unlocking pretty much every crafting option. So I think it will take a regular player a bit more time to get to this stage. So what are vaults? Well, they're basically a collection of some of the encounters and some of the challenges that you may have already faced, but ramped up to a completely new level. So basically, as you've explored the different realms, you've come across maybe Bastilles. That's the idea anyway. And these Bastilles have basically smaller portals to these dungeon-like areas. Some of them will be a case of defending from various bound and creatures. Others, you'll have to do that a little, but you'll also have to solve some of the puzzles in a much wider context in some of these dungeons, trying to find the right types of runes to press or hearing, listening to the right puzzle elements to ping off. So what the vaults are is a collection of them, but with some distinctly different vibes going on. As far as I'm aware, they've got much different actual modifiers. This one was the swamp we went into, and that meant that the floor was literally covered with the blight water, something I hadn't seen in any of the others. As you would expect, the level of enemy and the types of enemy you're going to face is going to be much substantially larger than anything else you've probably come across in the game, and they hit pretty hard. You do have to be a certain gear score and unlock certain cards to get access to these vaults, so you're not going to be doing this on day one trying to speed run the game. So on top of these challenges, which are normally maybe only one or very small comparatively, these are much larger, they'll go on a bit longer, and at the end you will run into an apex boss fight. So you're definitely going to need to get lots of elemental weapons, make sure your gear is at least blue, obviously, and hopefully maybe even purple. Absolutely, we were not prepared for this. We kind of rushed through and decided to go into this one, which is probably one of the toughest ones compared to the others, as this was a swamp. So once we eventually cleared out that first wave, it was, of course, ready to follow these sigils and work out which ones were going in what order, and they were pretty far and wide. Not wanting to make a mistake and have more of the bound spawn and attack us, as that's the penalty when you get it wrong. Oh yeah, here's the other one. It's in the water. This will be last. Yeah, okay, this one's last. Whoa. Jesus, that poison has decimated 500 of my health. I'm about to die. Okay. So, that's two, right? So, I'll do one and three. You just stay there. I hadn't recorded Kitaria's voice, so forgive me talking to myself, but I promise there was someone else there. Go and check her channel out for some excellent build guides and other stuff that she's going to be showing off on Nightingale you find a link to her channel in the comment section down below. But anyway, so a bit of parkour and we were pretty much on it, apart from landing in here and get more of that blight, which really does decimate you. Hey, because I've, I've landed on it, so I've not took any damage. That's how smart I am. Oh, oh mate, I'm, a, I'm fucking the ledge. Just parkour that. So part one completed and our first reward. Lots of essence. Tier three, baby. Purple. The next one, I had a spell that gave me the showing of weaknesses for enemies, so you can see where to hit them. Right, I'm on it. So what, I just got to hit something and it... Uh, the blight water. Oh! Rat. It's their eyes. The weak point... Yeah, the weak point's their eyes. Obviously, the more players you have, the more of the bound also spawn, and that's pretty much the same across the game. It generally just increases how many enemies you face when you're in multiplayer, rather than make all of them harder. Our weapons were definitely undergeared, and we certainly hadn't paid enough attention to our charms and enhancements, which we should have. Oh my fuck shit, yeah. The flame dudes are no joke. They can absolutely demolish you at the best of times, especially when they're level 100. This is where you need to focus when you get access to the game on crafting lots of elemental weapon types and ammo. Ice. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's the one, Kit. 
These dungeons are massive, there's so many different walkways you can go, it's very easy to get lost and obviously you're trying to avoid getting shot and done in by so many of the creatures. So in this part of the dungeon we had to go and find the runes, you can see the blue one there on the wall, we'd activated them all and just had to deal with the last of the rats before getting our reward again. Skinning Simulator 2018, no 2018, what year is it? 224. Thankfully, after that, you get to have a rest, just like you do in a lot of the other smaller Bastilles, and make sure you get to cook up any food. Definitely vital to make sure you have a rest. This is where preparation is key to succeed in Nightingale, making sure you've got the right potions and items to resist a lot of the blight. There's so much water here, there just really isn't much avoiding it. Oh no, you know what? I'm going to use my picks. Watch this, some pro gameplay I'm about to do now. I didn't get the chance to, as we were pretty much set upon by the bound. Oh shit, big, big flame, uh, big knife dudes, sword dudes. So these dungeons, these vaults, they are procedurally generated. You'll have the same kind of layout or same things to do, but it will be in different orders sometimes, and you may have different variations of enemies, and obviously depending on what of the biomes you chose. Finally got around to get my picks out, but of course once you step in the blight it kept registering that I was still in it. So yeah, you've got to be careful about where you use your picks. Spudder. So after exploring around we eventually found what we needed, which was the extraction device. This was going to be the third stage. We now have to fight off waves and waves of the bound to hopefully stop them from destroying the extraction unit. Oh, yeah, no. Lightning damage isn't doing fuck all to him. I'm using the basic guns that you first get access to. Certainly not what you want to be using up against so many of these. Eventually I'll realise that my hammer might do a better job. Oh, yeah, no, I'm dead. Thankfully, you do respawn at the start of this, so you don't just immediately get kicked out. And doesn't look like there's any kind of time limit on completing. Oh, mate. They... Yeah, it's doing nothing, though, because they're obviously flamed. Oh, there we go. That, that's, that's better. That's better. Yeah, she did. just yeeted her. Oh, I'm down. Run! Run! Oh, just normal shotguns. No. No, it's just us. Just us. Oh, there's a fucking brute! There's a brute. There's a brute. Yeah, they're not touching the wire though, so that's okay. Oh, someone getting yeeted. I just saw one just go flying. With elemental bullets, that like, I can't wait to craft them because then it's game over. Oh, you look—he's just flying. He just flew at you like that was weird. I saw that he just like teleported across the room. Are the other ones respawning or something? Because I swear they feel like they're just not. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'll wait for the... Oh, maybe not. Oh, I'll see, he doesn't like fire. Ah, he's dead. Whew. Finally got our next reward, and don't forget the chest as well. Although this one had just wood in it. I love how th there was fucking fibre and wood in the reward chest for me. In the box next to it, you know where you get the, the lotus. Oh, it's the fucking toad. Oh, he's chasing the flies. That's such a cool little addition. He's literally chasing a flyer that was flying around. And Jana. Oh, Jana. Yes. Did Jan J slay Jana's temporary. Oh, no, I've gone the wrong way. Oh. Yeah, that's, that didn't work. 
the apex predators these can be different depending on what vault you do oh shit oh shit no we're gonna die from the the water i'm just gonna stand here i'm gonna pretend to, uh, maybe we can cheese fuck it oh that did nothing oh yeah weak spot weak spot weak spot weak spot Uh, I don't think it showed. Hang on. There you go. Uh, it's face. Eyes. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh 24,000 damage there. Right in the eye. Oh, only 8,000 if you don't hit the eye. Oh, 9,000 for the head. Said it was gold there. It still weren't as good as 24. Oh, fucking hell. Nice, 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 nice. Woo! 15. Yep. The eyes of a uh, never ending story. Yeah, oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, it just yeeted me, but that weren't too bad because it put me out of the uh, stuff. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. I forgot I could do the. Yeah, the little jump. There we go. There we go. Oh no, this red cloud is bullshit. You don't want to be in this red cloud shit. Not me. I'm going to be right. Ah. Uh... Right, they're fucking me. They're. Maybe I had poison bullets in there? That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm alive. Yeah, no. Okay, it is, it's got to be immune. As you can tell, I was getting stressed with all the swearing and the poison wasn't doing much against these guys. That's why I didn't have meat on me. I wasn't carrying the right shit. Oh no, they do not like blunt. Me and Kataria then worked out that the boss was reheating, so we just weren't doing enough damage against it. I don't know if it's worth trying to kill the harpies. Are they going to just respawn? So yeah, the harpies kind of ruined this for us. We just couldn't handle them at the same time. Our resources were dwindling, our heals were running out, and we didn't have the right kind of gear. We tried a bunch of times. Pretty much to our armour was pretty much all broke, and we just literally run out of every heal. So that was it, that was the end of this challenge, sadly not successful. But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you a very valiant effort soon and that will definitely be in the form of hopefully a guide giving you the lowdown on exactly what type of gear and what will work really well in taking it on. We did end up leaving but we did get our rewards of all of that epic essence which we would need to go ahead and upgrade our blue to purples and definitely make things a lot easier next time. So hope you found this video useful, as I said it is still preview, things may change but I'm pretty confident this is what you're going to be expecting. Running these types of vaults, doing these challenges over and over again, with some permutations and differences, some of these intersections being different, that's what you can expect once you got through the main bulk of the game for now. Nightingale, the end goal of the game, won't be here at Early Access Launch. It will be added, so I'm expecting to see even more of these added, more variations and lots more enemies to be added over the coming months in Early Access. Go and check out the rest of my Nightingale guides and go check out the game on Steam. I highly recommend you do. Until next time, bags, laters.